there is just too much misinformation in the world and mm. there is a clear way of curing this disease i mean i can f- say for surety that this is the way to cure colitis i did the diet completely like strictly for two and a half months two and a half to three months yeah. and after, after two and a half months all my symptoms disappeared completely mm. and mm. now it's been seven months uh no symptoms feeling totally amazing i mean i just cannot express this feeling in words so now it's like uh, around 10 months that i am medicine free and around 7 months that i am uh, symptoms free the the mistake i made during those 4 years was that i relied only on allopathy i never looked into alternate options of healing this yeah. my philosophical philosophical perspective on the colitis has always been that this has came as a blazing in disguise so i think that was the most important thing for me that i wanted to get a consultation from someone who is very professional who has experience so that you can guide me you triggered that mind shift in me which is no i'm not going to live like this i'm going to be perfectly healthy this uh. is horrible thing once you say that i mean you don't kind of feel guilty because now i'm like okay this is approved by expert <laughs> see right now this whole corona virus thing is going on Yeah. Now just imagine if I was on immunosuppression I will be super yeah. worried what this this journey taught me is your real soldier soldier is within you which is your immune system when immune system is creating these ulcers it's not like misbehaving it is trying mm. to remove toxins out of your body i started seeing some black like some stuff coming out of my stools as if my colon is being cleansed you know like mm. if you have a, like pipe which hasn't not if you have hasn't been cleaned in years you can see from that smile on your face that it's like yeah. <laughs> you're just like so happy about it so just talk about talk about it right i'm feeling amazing man i told you like i have won probably multi million dollar jackpot <laughs> another thing is uh i was relying on doctors but i found that the real doctor is within me That's it. so then you feel that power you know the facebook group that you ha- you guys have is also amazing Mm. a lot of amazing people i have built i have make, made so many friends on that facebook group that there, there is a way i mean i i want to tell like aloud to <laughs> all the people that there is a way to cure this problem right yeah, like yeah. don't think this is not curable or don't think that okay it work for this particular person it might not work for me Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today is testimonial time and I'm joined by Davul who has kindly uh, agreed to take some time out of his busy day to share his story with us. So welcome to the channel. Thank you Shukul. I'm glad to be here. Fantastic. So Davul, uh, you've got a very interesting story obviously, just like everybody who heals from IBD. So what we'd like to do is just start from the beginning and talk a little bit about your journey and how you found out you got IBD and some of the symptoms you experienced. Okay so around 9 years back in 2011 I started getting blurred like well it's the same thing that everyone who goes through ulcerative colitis experiences and uh, when I went to doctor they did my colonoscopy and they diagnosed me with, with they diagnosed uh, me with ulcerative colitis I never heard about this thing before so it was kind of new to me and when I started googling I almost freaked out I'm like why did this happen to me because none of my family members have it i was vegetarian i was living a very healthy lifestyle no stress mm-hmm. uh so that was 2011 uh my doctors told me that this is something which is not curable i mean mm-hmm. so that was a big disappointment mm-hmm. and they asked me to take mesalamine which i took for some time it gave me some relief but i was always having issues i was no, never feeling like 100% well Uh-huh. and after 2 to 3 years the situation worsened so uh-huh. then they started giving me prednisone right and uh when i read about prednisone side effect again i knew that i'm not uh, this is not good for my body and uh-huh. this doctors are just trying to suppress the symptoms and and they were also kind of, kind of admitting right they they yes. they were saying that there is no cure uh-huh. uh so i st- I continued taking 
spread knees on uh, whenever I had flare ups. Uh, but it would put me in remission for like maybe six to eight months. And then again, I would experience the symptoms. So then again, they would give me prednisone. Uh, meanwhile, I was losing a lot of weight. Uh, I lost maybe around 40 or 50 pound in initial like three to four years. Uh-huh. And um, just the real, just the fact uh, that the kind of bias that the the medical system created in my brain which we, which is this thing is uncurable uh-huh. and at some point down the road uh, you are probably looking at uh, i don't know maybe some surgery or things getting out of the hands so that i think more than physical impact the psychological impact was bigger because uh-huh. i was kind of i started living in this dark world where i knew that my, I have uncurable disease. Like every day, you when you when I wake up, uh, I had this inner dialogue going on, which was like mm. I have uncurable disease. So mm. that psychological impact was much higher than the actual physical pain. Mm. Uh, and I was because I visited four to five different doctors, and they told me not to look into diet. Initial four years, I did not even Google that. Okay, is there a natural cure? Right. Right. But after four years, when then things uh, started getting worse, mm. uh, it, of course, like it. So at that time, I started uh, doing some Google, and on one of the forums, I remember uh, someone mentioned Dr. Klein's book. Right. So then I, uh, then I ordered the book. I started reading about it, and meanwhile, mm. when I was doing some YouTube search, I stumbled upon High Carb Health uh, mm. YouTube channel. And yeah. I immediately on the same day, I watched almost all the video testimonials <laughs> that you guys had. Yeah. And that kind of inspired me uh, to uh, take a call that maybe this is probably the way to cure it. Uh, yeah. But one other, one other thing happened when I was going through the videos on high carb health is there is this guy called Mike Hill, the gut guy. He has like a really yeah. a negative video about the vegan raw diet Mm. and when i watched that video it kind of created a lot of doubts because the way our human brain works is like you know we 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 get attracted to negativity more than the positivity so due to that i was holding back i waited few more months Mm. but uh, then i realized that i need to take an action because the things Mm. were going out of control in yeah. 2019, last year, um, I had another big flare. Mm-hmm. And last year alone, I lost 45 pounds. So I, right. January 2019, I was 155 pounds. And within a few months by summer, I was like 110 mm. pounds. So, uh, and by the way, uh, just to clarify, uh, this by by this time i have already started doing i have already started working with you guys so part of the weight loss was because of the diet but then uh, part of it was because of my flare um so um yeah so last year i took a call i read dr klein's book completely i started working with you guys and um i did the diet completely like strictly for two and a half months, two and a half to three months. And after after two and a half months, all my symptoms disappear completely. Mm, And mm. now it's been seven months. Uh, No symptoms, feeling totally amazing. I mean, I just cannot express this feeling in words. Uh, Mm. I tell to my wife that, uh, and some of my friends that, you know, I won a million dollar lottery. And they (laughs) often ask me, like, what is that lottery? I'm like... It's not even million dollar. It's, you you just cannot value it. So I feel yeah. so good. Uh, yeah. I'm medication free. Uh, I I live with colitis for eight years. Uh, eight years I consume a lo- lot of medicines. Mm. But last almost 10 months. So that was the time when I started working with you guys. I think one month ago, I mm. stopped all my medication. So now mm. it's like uh, around 10 months that I'm medicine free and around seven months that I am uh, symptoms free. Fantastic. So that's a, you know, obviously you've, you've got amazing results by looking at the way you 
uh, tackle lifestyle diet and lifestyle changes and you've noticed big differences. So let's dig deeper into your story because that's just a little overview of how you know, you've healed yourself. Uh, initially, what kind of symptoms were you experiencing when you first got diagnosed? And then how did they get worse in terms of like explain to the audience what you were feeling and you know, uh, how it was affecting you? So 2010, around November, I started seeing blood in my uh, stools. And my wife is a respiratory therapist and she's in a medical medical community. So she kind of knew that something is wrong. Mm. So we went to a colon surgeon and he, by just examining, by visual examination, he detected uh, piles. All right. So then they do they did this rubber ligation technique to remove my piles. So that thing went on for I think a month or two, and after that all my piles were removed and still I was getting blood. And my mm. I used to go to the bathroom like multiple times, like three or four or sometimes five times a day, and then blood. Mm. Mm. So then my doctor realized that we need to do colonoscopy. So they did it in February 2011. Uh, mm-hmm. they found that uh, I had ulcerative colitis. It was mm-hmm. left-sided colitis, uh, restricted till my sigmoid region. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the symptoms were mainly of uh, frequently going to bathroom around five times a day and blood and sometimes like stomach cramps. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how did this affect your life in terms of work and because I know you're quite keen to share, um, you know, you've got multiple things that you do. You've got a YouTube channel and, um, you know, you like to share your story on that as well. And so, you know, we're going to put a link to your, your um, you know, your contact details in the, um, in the description below. So if anyone wants to follow your journey and, you know, see what you're doing on YouTube and things like that as well, um, they're more than welcome sure. to do that. Sure. So, uh, yeah, so... Um... When so my schedule wasn't this tight before, but what was happening is I, I live in New York area in USA and I have a pretty good job. I work for Bloomberg, uh, which is a major like uh, fintech company, and uh, I'm a software architect in that company. So um, my job is pretty busy. I do a lot of interesting things at my job, uh, but other than that. Uh, my life was pretty cool like before this this is came into my life and when it uh. came in you know like when everything is good and your life is you don't have any trouble and all of a sudden this kind of big shock come to you it can it, yeah. sometimes it can almost depress you yeah so that's what happened um i mean i was always a positive person like and spiritually also very strong Mm. But since this disease were not get, was not getting under control, or uh, from 2011 to 2015, I struggled mm. a lot. Actually, I mm. went. The, the mistake I made during those four years was that I relied only on allopathy. I never looked into alternate options of healing this. Yeah. yeah. So I would go from one colon surgeon to other gastroenterologist. I even visited mm. a gastroenterologist back in India. Uh, mm. then they all had same answer that this mm. is an autoimmune disease. We don't know why it uh, doesn't happen. You have to mm. live with this, uh, disease and medicines. Uh, so, and around the same time, I, the disease was getting worse. Like initial two years, I did not have to take steroids, but now right. I got into steroids. So I knew that this is progressively getting worse. Mm. 2015, I reached almost a very low point where my mm. flares were getting under control. And uh, I was just thinking about this disease all the time. And mm. one of the bad things uh, that happens is when you do Google search, you always mm. hear these horror stories, right? Like you mm. go through forums and people like cutting their columns and things like that. Mm. And mm. That kind of puts uh, one more like, it kind of adds to your negativity and uh, you almost get get into depression. So that's that's Mm. what happened. And I decided at that point that I need to do something which by which I can keep my brain engaged. 
So I started uh, this YouTube channel to teach Python and data science and machine learning because that was my domain and I always had um, interest in teaching. Mm. So if like someone is going through bad times, I would highly suggest that find out an activity where num- two things like number one is that activity makes you happy. So that mm. way your brain is engaged into it and you're not just thinking about your problem, right? Mm. all the time i mean you need to think about problem uh, uh, your problem and finding a solution but you shouldn't be thinking about it all the time because that doesn't help right Mm. so i wanted to find out an activity which can uh, keep me happy keep my brain engaged and Mm. another thing is it has to be something uh where you give back to society and Mm. it kind of giving back selflessly uh helps you develop that compassion and that compassion indirectly has an impact on your health i mean i I strongly believe in that principle so that's the reason i started youtube channel i started Mm -hmm. teaching um so i always say that this youtube channel was born out of the darkest moments in my life Mm -hmm. and guess what has happened all these years and it's been four years my channel has grown to be be, uh, more than ninety-two thousand subscribers I am awesome. talking to so many of them and I'm feeling great. I'm also now earning some money through it. And yeah. my health is uh, all right now. So yeah. I take uh, my philosophical philosophical perspective on the colitis has always been that this has came as a blazing in disguise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shamiz believes the same. You know, he feels the same about his journey because same kind of thing, right? He had the out of the darkest times comes the opportunity to help so many people like yourself and you know that that is something that i that i also feel strongly about you know how we create our youtube channel there's 600 videos about mostly about you know gut health on there so there's definitely you know good things that can come out of bad times and i think every cloud has a silver lining so you know it's amazing yep. what you did Hmm. Yeah, but totally agree. I mean, I, I know some his story. Uh, I know your story. And yeah, I think it's exactly the same thing. You guys uh, hmm. took very positively and st- started high carb health and helped so many people. And now you are in doing this full time. So it's like pretty amazing, I think. Hmm. No, it's, it's, um, it's a real blessing for us as well. So, okay. So then, you know, you obviously uh we're struggling and you know digging deeper into your story about uh how you found high carb health and why you know uh, talk about why you decided to join our program instead of a different one yeah so uh one of the thing that you need while going through this program is the support hmm. like no matter how strong you are like when you're going through this journey uh, you need a support from a professional who ha- who knows about this protocol, who mm. can uh, get you in touch with other people who have been through uh, this journey. So mm. the reason I joined High Carb Health was um, after watching your videos, I realized that you guys are good in communication in like giving mentally sub- mental support and of course the support on diet and you know the whole whole thing. And and since uh, you guys have already worked with so many other people who have helped, mm. you have that breadth, the, the, the vast knowledge, you know, of uh, what to do on like specific situation. Because like if you think about colitis and Crohn's, like peop- there is like a spectrum of symptoms and spectrum of variety that you see. Like there are people right. who have more severe symptoms. There are people who have less severe there are people who get swelling. There are people who don't get swelling. It, it's like there are just so many parameters uh, that mm. goes in here. And since yeah. you have worked with so many people, you have that knowledge and experience of working with real people, healing them. So I think mm. that was the most important thing for me that I wanted to get a consultation from someone who is very professional, who has experience so that you can guide me. Because that mm. time that I was going through this journey, it was very sensitive. Um, yeah. I was losing a lot of weight, having a lot of pain. So I didn't want to make, uh, I I wanted to make sure that every moment that I'm utilizing and every single decision that I'm taking is well informed and it is mm. supported by the expertise uh, from people like you. 
so that was the main reason I decided to go um, go with uh, high carb health. Fantastic. And talk about how you found the program in terms of the support, in terms of the education. Um, I want you really to touch on the education as well, but um, how did you find uh, the, the support program? Yeah, support. So uh, the support program is excellent. Uh, I was working with you, Shukol, right? Like, so either you work mm. with Shamir or you, you both are awesome. Um, we used to have, I remember, uh, weekly or sometimes bi-weekly Skypey calls. And mm. um, you would, um, you would ask me to maintain a food diary. And then you would kind of give advice on like, you know, how much calories I'm taking and what food I'm taking and what food I shouldn't be taking. Uh, mm. And other than health support, I think that mental support was, was very important. So mm. like I look at you guys not only as just a nutritionist expert, but as a as an like expert in psychology as well, right? <laughs> I remember you said some of the uh, research papers on uh, some philosophy related research paper on the mental health. And mm. I believe that that mental aspect, like your how you view the world is your mindset is very important. So yes. previously, I used to live in this mindset where I told myself that I'm not going to be cured. Mm. But when I started working with you, I had some consultations with Dr. Klein also. Mm. And during those consultation, you you had this mind shift in me. Mm. You, 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 you triggered that mind shift in me which is, no, I'm not going to live like this. I'm going to be perfectly healthy. This mm. is a curable thing. So I think mm. that, that shift in your mindset was more important than the actual relief from the symptom. Because mm. once I know that I'm going to be out of this, then yeah. I can continue walking on the path and I'm kind of looking for that brighter future. So those things were important. Um, anytime I had question or email, email consultations were, were also very useful because we sometimes live in a different time zone. And if I had some question, I would quickly drop an email and then you would respond uh, as soon as you probably wake up in New Zealand. And <laughs> just seeing that quick response was also helpful. You know, it's like, oh, should I be eating blueberry today? And you'll be like, yeah, you can have some. Uh, mm. then you, you know what happens is like once you say that I mean you don't kind of feel guilty because now I'm like okay this is approved by expert <laughs> <laughs> so that was a, important otherwise you see if I'm doing this thing on my own then yeah. first of all I'm like see when you're going through this pain and this journey you are like psychologically fragile mm. so you have like moods ups and downs so then you need someone to hold your hands who can help mm. you go through this difficult path. Yeah. So I think uh, having this kind of consulting and support is, in my personal experience, very, very important. Fantastic. And talk about the education piece as well, because that's a big part of what we do. I think the whole program is designed around giving you and all our clients the information they need to not only heal, but to maintain their health in the long term. So what, what, you know, what kind of things do we teach in terms of the scientific research and things like that? Yeah, the education piece is very important because let's say if you're doing allopathy, like you go to a doctor, he gives you a bunch of pills. Now you don't mm. know what those pills are doing and you are kind of handicapped. Uh, mm. But by going through this education, uh, like you, you guys, of course, teach about, you know, how the detoxification process works like mm. the food combining principles, when to eat what. So mm. uh, in uh, in each of our calls, I think you were always giving that education, right? Mm. And I remember you sent me some PDF books as well on uh, detoxification. So I read those books. They were also pretty useful. Uh, mm. So because of that education, now I have become more aware uh, about mm. what I should be eating and I should not be eating. And other mm. than eating, there are other factors like like the exercise, sunbathing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like stress under control and all that. Mm. So mm. that education is something that I'm I'm gonna live uh, those lessons for my entire life, right? That's right. This yeah. colitis chapter might be over, but by following the principles, 
uh, that I have learned through this journey, they yeah. are going to help me um, in general, in terms of my health and even in general, like dealing with this disease. See, right now, this whole coronavirus thing is going on. Yeah. Now, yeah. just imagine if I was on immunosuppression, I will be super yeah. worried. Yeah. But what this this journey taught me is your real soldier soldier is within you, which is your immune system. When immune system is creating these ulcers, it's not like misbehaving. It is trying mm. to remove toxins out of your body. So yes. learning that perspective through this continuous education was very, very important. So then mm. what happened is during my healing journey, when I was seeing blood, I mm. was telling myself that this is a good thing. My body is throwing toxins out, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that education helped me have this kind of dialogue. And mm. I started looking at things in a different way. Like initially, if I get blood, I would be like super worried. I'm like, why am I getting blood? When is this, this is going to be good? But now I was like, OK, I need to calm down. This is detoxification. It is doing its own thing. I mm. need to be relaxed. And I waited for two or three months and I see mm. the result now. Right. Yeah. So now uh, recently I had a sinus infection as well. And mm. as usual, when I went to doctor, he just he just gave me antibiotics, bunch of antibiotics, but mm. I did not take that mm. because I knew that by eating all these fruits and vegetables, my immune system is much stronger and it is going to fight out the infection on its own. Mm -hmm. So I did not take antibiotics. I had 102 degree fever for a few days, but mm. then I got well. Mm. That's right. And right now, you, even if the virus things comes up, I mean, if you have a strong immunity, let's say if in the world, everyone is living this lifestyle. And if everyone's mm. immunity is so strong, mm. the world in the wake of coronavirus will be very yeah. different. Yes. But like in fact, not coronavirus would not even exist because no one would be eating those meats, you know. So because where does the oh, yeah. virus come? If everyone is living this lifestyle, the viruses wouldn't exist because they all come from farming animals. You know, yes. if you think about it, H1N1, it comes from a duck. Bird flu comes from chickens, swine flu, it comes from pigs, um, SARS, it comes from, uh, uh, you know, other animal markets and coronavirus obviously comes from wet markets in China. So if everyone was yeah. living this lifestyle, first of all, these viruses would not even be there, you know, let alone exactly. the fact that we have the chance to get them. The only reason they exist is because of our, um, our greed and the way we want to abuse and farm animals, you know. Um, 100% I agree with that. <laughs> But yes, and, and I, I you know, understand exactly what you're saying. Because of the fact that our defense system is stronger, we're less concerned about, you know, if the body does get infected, there's less likelihood that it's going to cause any kind of major damage to us. Um, that's yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's something people should be focusing on, right? Like your yeah. inner soldier, rather than inventing vaccines and all that, that's relying right. on these external, like, drugs yeah. and all that. Yeah. If your yeah. inner soldier is strong you would be living like much better life. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the main kind of learning from this whole journey is the body heals itself, you know, and, Absolutely. and this is, and this is the biggest piece of knowledge I can give anyone. And, you know, fear only exists due to a lack of knowledge. So if you're scared, it's because you don't understand something, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, you know, like if you're yes. scared of the dark, it's because you can't see, you know, and then as soon as the light yeah. turns on, you're not scared anymore because the knowledge is there of what your surrounding is like. So with your, with your IBD, uh, fear about IBD exists because of a lack of knowledge about what's happening in the body. And if we can teach people what is happening in the body, then the fear goes away and you can relax. And, and as you said, you know, you don't get scared when you see some of the symptoms and you can allow your body to heal itself. And that's the biggest learning from this, from this whole experience. I totally agree with that. Uh, I have mm. lived in that fear for eight years, so I can totally understand that. And that developing that mind shift that this is mm. curable and mm. whatever you used to believe was due to, to your point, it was due to lack of knowledge, right? Yes. And medical community, I don't think they know anything about this disease. I mean, I have stopped mm. believing, believing in this term called autoimmune. Yes. There is nothing like autoimmune. Like, 
just look at mm-hmm. nature how wonderfully nature has designed our body how can it make mm. such a fundamental mistake there where your immune system starts mm. attacking yourself i mean mm-hmm. first time in 2011 when, when my doctor told me i'm like what my immune system <laughs> is attacking myself my own uh, like organ like how mm. like why i mean i mean yeah i did uh, not understand but then i started believing in them yeah. and after going through this alternate journey i mean i've realized that whatever nature is doing is for good it's just that mm-hmm. we have we don't have that knowledge and mm-hmm. and part of the misinformation and knowledge is of uh, is fueled by the vested interest of uh, like the pharma companies and all that like mm-hmm. when i was doing google search on natural ways of curing colitis i never came across mm-hmm. uh, dr klein's book I never mm. came across your website, mm. and I always wonder, like, why did it took me so time, so such a long time? And uh, I just feel that uh, the pharma companies are even controlling Google results. Doctor mm. Klein recently told, uh, sent me a link on uh, the deal, some kind of deal that Google had with pharma companies, mm. where they are trying mm. to suppress uh, the results of such websites, you know, mm. which cure mm. things naturally. Because think about it. uh usually people who are on steroids and who don't get better on uh, regular drugs they put them on uh what do you call it uh, humira like biologics right so uh-huh. they put them on uh, humira humira alone costs you i think more than 10 or 15000 dollar a year okay yeah and, yeah. and if people are healed by eating bananas <laughs> just like a multi billion dollar revenue loss for companies that's right Yeah. So can't they out of those let's say few billion dollar maybe they can put put few million uh in controlling Google search results and suppressing mm. all the research that is coming out mm. on uh, mm. natural cure. So mm. that kind of uh give me explanation on why these kind of protocols are not very very popular because like think about mm. even high carb has a dr klein right like dr klein's book on amazon has like 70 or 80 re- 80 reviews mm. and if you look at a uh, number of people suffering from colitis and crohn they are like millions mm. yeah so i'm like why everyone has not come across uh, this way of curing the disease mm. and i feel it's just two things like number one is there are elements who are trying to suppress the result Uh, suppress mm-hmm. the research in this area and another thing is society has created uh, so many doubts and biases in our brain for example living vegan itself mm-hmm. like the the moment i tell someone that i'm vegan uh, they ask <laughs> me okay where do you get your protein from like <laughs> that's like a standard question that everyone <laughs> asks me i have stopped discussing with people on that uh, because yeah. society has a uh, brainwashed them so much they they yeah. don't want to take that step and i was in the yeah. same boat i yeah. was like oh where am i going to get my protein from and is this vegan although i was a vegetarian all my life yeah. still i had doubts yeah. and i feel like i ve- i i feel very like I, f- i feel very sad that uh there is just too much misinformation in the world and yeah. there is a clear way of curing this disease i mean i can say for surety that this is the way to cure colitis and mm. every anyone who has it i would highly suggest that you uh, try this and uh, maybe try with some kind of support like like high carb health because mm. that way you will be solid because this this journey will be it will take time it's not mm. a quick fix mm. right and that's the same thing shukul i remember you told me that mm. i i asked this question okay how much time is it going to take <laughs> <laughs> and you did not respond you you did not tell me it's going to be 5 weeks or 2 months you said like depends because it really depends on your body it might be 4 mm-hmm. weeks it might be 10 weeks it might be 6 months mm-hmm. or a year who knows mm-hmm. so that is very important having patience and mm-hmm. sticking to the, the this path is very important because mm-hmm. one of the things that happened with me and i think it happens with most of the people is Uh, after getting onto the diet after few weeks your symptoms will get worse yeah 
after two weeks that I was on bi- my diet, my mm. symptoms actually worsened. I was going mm. to bathroom mm. five day, five times a day. It mm. increased ten times. Mm-hmm. So then, even if you have little doubt, it will kind of you know it will it will make that doubt stronger. You'll be like, oh, is it really working or is it making it worse? But then it's good that I continued on that, and thanks mm. for all of your support that I mm. stick to this path. And mm. I think it was six or seven, seventh week, seventh or eighth week that I started noticing improvement. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, so importantly, this is a very important topic. I think I want to just dig deeper into this topic because this is the, you know, understanding the detoxification is one of the hardest things for people to get their minds around. That okay, so I'm going to eat healthier. And I'm going to see an increase in my symptoms for a period of time before it gets better. So talk about, you know, how that felt for you, but also talk about the symptoms that you experienced um, and how they got better over time. Okay, so I started doing this diet and after two, I think two weeks, yeah, I was doing vegan healing diet, Mm. so like strictly, okay. And um, after two weeks, I, at that time, I was going through a flare. I was getting blurred, going to bathroom four mm. to five times. Uh, a, a, gradually, the frequency increased. So five times becomes six times, seven times, and at peak, it was ten times, uh, ten times in a day. Mm. One of the symptoms I felt was I never used to get up during night, but now I had mm. to. I I I woke up in the night. I had to go mm. to bathroom. My stomach cramping also increased and also like I started seeing some black like some stuff coming out of my stools as if my colon is being cleansed you know like mm-hmm. if you have a, like pipe which hasn't if you have, hasn't been cleaned in years mm-hmm. and you just put like a lot of force of water to get all that dirt out of it I almost started seeing those kind of that that material into my stools. And I kind of, I realized that this is detoxification. I just need to stay with it. Uh, One other thing I did was I uh, took uh, medical leave from my job. So I was resting. Resting is also very important. Um, I would rest. I would take sunlight. uh, I would Uh just uh, eat my fruits and just kind of follow your instinct. You know, like there is no, no one fixed way. Okay, Mm. so Mm. I would just rely on the signals that my body would give and uh, the detoxification continued for a few weeks. So I think it it, this this thing continued for about four or five weeks. Then at the end of like my seventh week into this journey after starting my diet, uh, my frequency started reducing. So from 10, it was initially it was a very gradual improvement. So from Mm. 10 times, I would go like nine or eight times. Mm. And it was kind of hard to even judge whether you are making an improvement. So I used Mm. to have this uh, Google sheet where I literally (laughs) daily symptom. I would note down my daily symptom. Okay, how many times I'm going, whether I'm seeing blood, yes, uh, mucus, yes. So I would have those yes, no columns in the sheet. Mm. Mm. And... um, when you look at the data from your last few days, you can kind of clearly see the trend. Mm. Although it is very small, but you can see mm. the trend of improvement. Mm. Uh, then uh, I think after a few days, uh, what happened is it went down from let's say nine or eight times to six times a day. And after that, actually started improving rapidly. Mm. So like from six times, it just fall down to like four times, three times, two then mm. after the curve mo- become more like like a rapid improvement. Mm. So initially it was slower, but then later on it was rapid. And uh, I think after two and a half months, the blood completely stopped. And that was mm. that was the moment <laughs> I knew that this is working 100%. Uh, mm. I've been bleeding so much that even not seeing a blood, although I had some other symptoms, like I would get a gas and my, mm. you know, but but just just the fact that I stopped seeing blood gave me a big relief. And mm. after after that, uh, for a few months, I mean, I would be very, um, you know, because one of the things that will happen is once your symptoms are okay, you want to 
jump to those uh, post healing uh, foods quickly because you have been kind of restricting yourself for such a long time uh-huh. Uh-huh. and that's when again that's another thing where your support uh, helps where you would keep a health diary and you would uh, ask me to gradually uh, introduce new things right so one uh-huh. week we'll be introducing let's say uh, tomatoes or berries and then uh-huh. grains a little bit so that kind of gradual transition is very very important you don't want to just jump onto those things because you might you know go like five step back yeah yeah excellent all right so now that you've kind of gone through that and your body healed and you're feeling good um talk a little bit about how you feel now because obviously you know we've had some very inspirational conversations in the last few months about how you feel now and you know, you can see from that smile on your face that it's like, yeah. <laughs> you're just like so happy about it. So just talk about, talk about it. Right. I'm feeling amazing, man. I told you, like I have won probably multi-million dollar jackpot. <laughs> I think I'm, mm. if I were to say that if I won multi-million jackpot and whatever happiness it would have given me, I think the happiness that I'm receiving right now is much more than that. So you mm. can kind of understand. Yeah. Uh, and during this journey as my youtube channel was also growing uh you know like my love for life was increasing and if you want to live meaningful life uh, the first thing is health Mm. so if i get in terms of uh, colitis if i get any big relief in health it would be a big thing because i i'm i'm an ambitious person i want to do a lot of things in my life Mm-hmm. And uh, since uh, these things worked, and another thing was uh, I become medicine free. So eight years mm-hmm. every day I have to consume my meds, and I, I didn't feel good about it. And now it's like when I wake up in the morning, I, I feel like a free bird, man. I don't have to consume any medications. Uh, another thing is uh, I was relying on doctors, but I found that the real doctor is within me. That's it. So then you feel that power you know it's like if problem happens in future i don't have to go anywhere uh, mm. the real doctor is within me so that education that i got throughout this journey mm. and that has developed this confidence in me that in future if i have to go through any health problems i know how to deal with it i don't have mm-hmm. to beg uh, to those yes. doctors yes. because even begging against doctor doesn't help it makes your mm. situation worse uh, so I'm feeling very empowered. I'm feeling very happy. Uh, my perspective on the life has changed. Like once you go through this kind of critical journey, you become more compassionate, more, um, more grateful towards mm. what life has given you, what nature has given you. Right. And, uh, now I also want to help more people. So, uh, in the YouTube, in the description, in the in this video's description, maybe we can uh, provide, maybe you can provide my email ID or something. Mm. If someone mm. wants to talk to me, I'm available. Um, mm-hmm. They can drop me an email. And uh, I feel that uh, the the positive message and the, the things that I have learned basically by going through this journey, uh, mm. I just want to pass that around. I don't want to just mm. hold it uh, with me. Yeah, yeah. So it almost it it almost now is giving me a purpose of life. You know, like mm. where I want to just do something other than uh, like doing my job and you know just taking care of my family. I want to do mm. more than that. Yeah, that's excellent. That's such a such an awesome way to be, and you just feel so much gratitude, don't you, about having a second chance because that's that's basically what you get you know when you heal from something like this you've been given no hope and all of a sudden you know everything about what you thought has changed and you get a second chance on life and you want to make the most of it 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 just things just turned upside down i mean <laughs> at some point my steroids were not working they were they yeah. were thinking of putting me on humira yeah. and my life was just going downhill and all yeah. of a sudden now not only i'm healthy my youtube channel is growing i have got the mm. purpose in life so mm. that's why i say like i i really mean it like mm. uh, if any of the people who are watching this and if mm. they have colitis 
and they're feeling down, let me tell you this, uh, maybe bad things happen in your life for a reason. And yeah. one of the quote that I like the most is like, you can't control what events happen in your life, but you can control how you react to it. That's right. It. So if uh -huh. this is happening to you, I would say react with so much positivity and mm. you will see amazing things happen in your life. Not only you will be cured, but your life would be much better uh, compared to uh, the life that you have, you would have lived if this did not happen to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That That's the way I look at it. I would have never started my YouTube channel and yeah. I would be a very different person if this thing didn't happen to me. I mean, I'm in touch with a few people who are going through this journey right now. The Facebook group that you ha you guys have is also amazing. Uh, a lot of amazing people I have built. I have make, made so many friends on that Facebook group. And uh, I would not have come in contact with those amazing people uh, if this uh, hadn't uh, happened to me. Fantastic. And all right. So I think... Um, really really impressed with your journey man we're so proud of you and it's just a it's just a great feeling you know to sit here with you today and and share your story and try and inspire some more people you know who are going through a tough time but just just in closing do you have any final words of advice to people who are watching this i know you've already given some very powerful advice already i would say one advice man like just remove all those biases uh, mm -hmm. that doctors and allopathy have created in your mind and mm. also one other issue that people face is they think that, okay, maybe this is not for me because mm -hmm. I was under, I was going through after watching that Mike heal the gut guy video on his bashing mm. on Dr. Klein's book. And he's claiming mm. that, uh, Dr. Klein's protocol doesn't work on some people. I mean, I mm. totally disagree because, mm. uh, I think this protocol works for whoever is trying it sincerely. Because remember, initially your symptoms are going to go worse. So yeah. then you start this journey after one month when your symptoms are worse and when yeah. you're about to make a big shift, you leave it with That's a sense. negative impression that this yeah. doesn't work. But then you yeah. did not, it's like you were interested in, in solving your health issues, but you are not committed. What yeah. requires here is commitment, right? Uh -huh. So... Uh -huh. One, one piece of advice I will give is if you are starting on this journey, uh, be committed, okay? Uh, be in touch with other people who have cured through your Facebook group, through whatever other yeah. means. Yeah. And uh, be patient and wait for some time. And I'm pretty sure it's going to work. And uh, there, there is a way, I mean, I, I want to tell like aloud to <laughs> all the people that there is a way to cure this problem, right? Yeah, like yeah. don't think this is not curable or don't think that okay it worked for this particular person it might not work for me our bodies yeah. are in the end our bodies are kind of similar right like the the way it works i mean yeah. it's all safe yeah. Yeah. so uh if if it works for me and it's not like it just worked only on me it has worked mm. on thousands and thousands of people mm -hmm. Dr. Klein says like it has worked. He has dealt with maybe more than 5,000 people. And you guys are mm. also deal with so many people. There are like so many testimonials mm. out there. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, there are real examples that this works. So I would mm. say, try it. This is the way to cure colitis, Crohn, and I would say any other disease. Yeah. You know, it's not just IBD. I think any okay. other disease... I mean, I have kind of, I, I feel like I've, I've found my weapon to fight any disease. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. And, and it is true. There's so many, there's so much evidence around the different types of research on diseases like heart disease and diabetes and cancer. And it just, yeah, it's, it's a real, um, real way to solve so many of the world's problems. I think one of the recent stats is that if everyone followed this way of eating, that we would reduce our allowance in hospital care by 70 to 80 percent and mm. you know that's so powerful but um look man again you know we're so proud of you Shamiz and I were just like so happy for you man and and you know it just brings a smile to our face that you've taken health into your own hands and and you've overcome the medically incurable you know um you've done yep, what some people think is impossible so yep and Thank you very much for all your yeah. help. Like I spoke yeah. to Samis a few times, but most of the time I was speaking to you. 
Yeah, uh, I think you yeah. guys are doing amazing job. Your all the support that you provided. I mean, this wouldn't have been possible. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, if you, I did not have that support. So again, thank you very much. I mean, just uh, the the thank in the words is not uh, a yeah. good way to convey that gratitude. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. beyond the words. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a it's a pleasure, my friend. And it's a real pleasure working with you. And um, so you know. Uh, it's my favorite thing to do is to say congratulations. You now have a life after colitis. And, um, <laughs> you know, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your story. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Uh, click on the bell notification so that you'll get informed of our latest uploads. And until next time, eat plants and lots of them.